Let me start this one by talking a little bit more about uh, the comparison of the starty star to the divergence. There really is a, a tighter link if we just uh, change the notation a little bit. The pattern of pluses and minus signs probably isn't super clear at this point. I, I did do something. I, here's what I had in the previous video. I just went ahead and switched the 1 and the 2 to put them in order, and then I distributed through the minus signs. But it's still kind of a weird pattern of minus signs, okay? And part of that is that we didn't know in advance, necessarily, a good way to write the original form. So let's agree that I can rewrite, if I say gamma 1, 2, dx1, dx2, if necessary, I could write that as negative of gamma 2, 1, dx2, dx1. So the convention is that if I write the, the letters in the opposite order, I don't mean some new independent component. I just mean the negative of the letters in this order. And that has a very interesting impact. So if I put in 2, 1, that flips that sign. If I put in 3, 1, that flips that sign. If I put in 4, 1, that flips that sign. And now notice the 1 is always in that second slot and that's matching the one here. And then the derivative is matching. So if I think of the one as kind of a bystander slot, if I just actually erase it for a second, this looks an awful lot like um, part of a divergence where I'm taking the derivatives of these gammas with respect to the two and the two match, three and the three match, four and the four match. Okay. And the interesting thing is, okay, here one, two, the second slot is, is already matching. I don't need to switch that. Here that I need to switch it so that the second slot matches. Here I need to switch it and I get a plus sign. Again, now looking more like the divergence. Um, then this one is already matches. This one, the second slot already matches. Here, guess what? I need to switch it and then produce a minus sign. And here, all of them already happen to match. And so this tells us, this gives us a pretty good hint as to what this might generalize to in higher dimensions. Maybe this is the general rule. In front of a D in any particular one of the dx's, I look at components where maybe this last index matches, and then I look at essentially a divergence in the other index, but without the dx1 because that wouldn't make any sense. They would they, that wouldn't um, it wouldn't fit the pattern here. It's not there's no der derivative with respect to dx1 here. Okay. So this is really quite a resemblance, finally, to the divergence. Okay, and you can definitely talk more about that. And it re this really is, starty star really is essentially the right generalization of the divergence. Okay, now to finish this set off. This has all been in R4. It's given us a good taste of how things might go in Rn, really. Um, and I'm not going to go into Rn in a lot of detail, but we can at least come up with the, the general definition of, R, of, Rn, of star in Rn. We want this property to still be true, alpha wedge star of beta, if they're both p forms, to be the dot product of the two things times the volume form, where that's now dx1 through dxn. Okay, so what's the idea? And I, I don't want to write it out in terms of like lots of equations. The notation, there's this various conventions for the notation, but they're not incredibly edifying. Um, so star of dx, you know, dx something, be kind of vague, but I think it'll be pretty clear. Dot 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 wedge dx something else is going to be plus or minus dx. I'm just going to put in the rest. Okay, so it's going to be a wedge of the other dx's. So if I have one seven and nine here, it's going to be everything but one seven and nine here wedged together. Okay, and then the plus or minus where the sign is chosen based on the number of transpositions to get into the order 1, 2, 3, 4, up to n. I'll put that in math mode just to make it look cooler. Okay. So for example, uh, let's say in our six star of dx two wedge dx four wedge dx five 
is going to be, I'll just put in a plus or minus for now, where is it, right there, plus or minus the other ones, dx1, wedge dx3, wedge dx6, and then we just have to test, a little scratch paper here, 245 is the original one, and then 136 is the star, that's supposed to be exactly just 1 through 6, how many transpositions are that going to be? Well, let's see. To 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The 1 has to be scooted through three things. Okay, actually, let's just, let's not go all the way. 1, 2, 4, 5, 3, 6. Okay, and so that's going to be 3. Let's remember a, a 3 there. And then the 2 is in the right place, but then the 3 has to be scooted toward by two things, and then we're in the right order. So the the two transpositions don't really matter. The three transpositions is odd, so it's going to be minus. And that's the rule for star.